hello welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new this is my hair i tried fixing it i couldn't really fix it i mean it is what it is this video is about mental health and to be honest i feel like a lot of people when they talk about mental health they don't actually show what it looks like i haven't brushed my hair in like a week i haven't showered in a week which i know is gross but if i'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be honest so I haven't washed my hair or taken a shower in a week I've literally been wearing the same clothes for the past week because my mental health is just not good right now and I really wanted to wait until I filmed this video to take a shower because I wanted to show you guys what mental health actually looks like or lack of mental health um, I just really want to be raw and open and show you guys that it doesn't always look the same like everybody is different um so that's why I decided to just come on here and start recording I know I look like I just rolled out of bed because I did and it's like 2 p.m. so I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about my mental health and just be open and if you guys want to share or if you all I'm trying not to say guys because it's not very gender inclusive but if you all want to let me know your mental health struggles or if you need somebody to talk to I have my Instagram um, link down below and I usually have it like right here when I I have my wife put it there when I um when she edits my videos and my comment section is never filtered or whatever, so if you guys want to be mean or nice or <laughs> open or anything or you want to talk, my comment section is always open. But I just really wanted to speak about my experience with mental health and what I have and my thoughts and my journey, I guess. Um, so... This is just a CBD pen, in case you guys are wondering. But this is my hair. It is red. You guys probably didn't know that it's red because I haven't been recording any videos. Um, basically, I my birthday just passed. Um, it was the week of Thanksgiving. And I had a suicide attempt um, on my birthday. So I went to the hospital... And I went to an inpatient psychiatric hospital, and that was so fucking hard for me. Um, I was there for four days, and it was honestly kind of like a living hell, funny enough. <laughs> um, some people had a great time there had like we're like I don't never want to leave which I'm like all right good for you like but I was not one of those people because I'm just so used to having my family my wife my kids my mom my like closest friends and stuff with me so to not have that support was really challenging because due to COVID and everything they couldn't visit so I literally had no like human affection for like four days which I'm not used to because my mom is very affectionate my wife is very affectionate like I just felt like I had lost all sense of like freedom like you could only eat when they like during a certain amount of time like you had to you could only go outside during a certain amount of time you couldn't have your phone you couldn't have your own clothes or anything which was like really difficult for me because it kind of felt like I was losing myself or I felt like I was trapped I felt like I was getting worse but after having like a full mental breakdown there, I realized that I did need help and that um, I was glad at the end of the day, as much as I hated it, I'm glad that I did go because it kind of gave me a new appreciation for life. I know you guys are probably like, well, you haven't taken a shower since you've been out, bitch, but <laughs> it's just like... I had a lot of anxiety wanting to film this video so I just have been stressing about it and been telling myself that I'm gonna do it for a week and I haven't and my depression kind of just like kicked back up you know and my medication is not helping either like one of the side effects is insomnia and I have a really hard time going to sleep and staying asleep so 
so that was pretty difficult for me still struggling with that getting back on my medication and stuff and it's not bad if you're on medication I'm on medication very open about it I take medication daily like I don't think it's a bad thing to take I know a lot of people are like I don't want to put my body through that and like good for you if if you if you feel like you can be better and you are better and you can heal without medication kudos to you because I don't think I can I think it's just like I have one of those like there are different kinds of depression and anxiety of course but my depression is more so like I can't get out of bed like I don't want to do anything I just want to sleep all day I don't want to eat I don't want to do anything but sleep and like watch Netflix or something like that's pretty much all I can do or want to do or like I don't shower like that's just how my depression is but not all depression looks like that my wife has high functioning depression so she can do like she can do things like shower brush her teeth um go to work go on walks or whatever and then when she comes home she's just kind of like drained she just kind of does like the bare minimum of like her responsibilities and then she comes home and she kind of like lets herself go but I can't even bring myself to do things like go to work or hold a job. I've had like probably 15 jobs in the past four years because I cannot keep a job. And it's really hard for me to talk about, but the whole reason why I started this channel was to speak about mental health, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be open, and some things might be weird, some things might be gross, like me not showering for a week, but that's the reality of it. That's how it is, and I'm not going to hide it. You know, because if I see somebody like me with my hair looking like this, haven't showered in a week, just got out of the psych ward, fresh out the psych ward, like, I feel like they would understand me so much more than somebody who's so put together, you know, because that's not what mental health looks like. I have, I brushed my teeth like three times in the past week, you know, and I saw this TikTok where it's like that challenge where like you show all your teeth or whatever. And this girl was like, let's show people who have mental health problems let's show their teeth and I honestly didn't know that I wasn't the only person that like wouldn't brush their teeth or wouldn't shower like I honestly thought I was the only one and I was like fuck I'm so gross like that's so weird like who does that like I'm so pathetic you know but in reality it's more common than you guys would think like my closest friend also she suffers from mental health problems and she also like she barely took a shower last week for the first time in a week too you know and I just feel like it's just really hard. I mean, mental health sucks. I have anxiety constantly. I have depression every day. I wake up like, I don't know. It's really hard for me to speak on because I feel like nobody cares. (laughs) But I know people out there care and I know that even if you guys don't care, maybe somebody who watches this will feel less alone and feel like somebody understands them or knows what they're going through and that's all even if it's just one person and that's all I want even if I can just help one person by being so open and so raw with you guys like that's all that I care about um so I really hope that this video helps at least one person to feel not so alone and to make them feel more like I don't know (laughs) like normal like it's okay to have mental health problems or I don't even know how to say it I've had mental health related illnesses (laughs) for four years now and I still just don't know how to talk about it or what to call it or anything But I'm trying my best, so please correct me in the comments if I'm saying something wrong. Um, I'm still learning, like, how I keep saying you guys, you all, everybody. Like, I want to start being more inclusive, and I just want to be more correct in the terminology that I use. So, if I say something wrong, please correct me in the comments. But, um, I do suffer from depression and anxiety I've been diagnosed with it and I take medication for depression and um, sometimes I take medication for anxiety Um, I noticed I used to be one of those people that I loved change and like I love changing my hair and I love changing 
like having new piercings and stuff like that and I've definitely changed as a person because now it's like I change my environment and I feel so like I just get so anxious and like it just doesn't feel right and I don't know it just feels like off and different and I get anxiety and it sucks because I used to not be like that and I know I change my hair color often but I've always been like that with my hair but I used to be more so like with my environment like I love changing it or like I would just chop all my hair off or something and like I would love it and now it's like uh, other than changing my hair color and getting new tattoos and piercings and stuff like I don't like change which sucks because obviously I used to be such an open person and super willing to do anything like if somebody was like you want to move across the country I'd be like all right bet but now I'm like you know so it's kind of like I'm learning how to re-accept myself with my mental health problems like I put my septum piercing back in and literally not even 12 hours later I took it out because I was like you know what I don't feel like myself I don't feel comfortable I feel like I'm kind of taking a step back in life by putting my septum ring in and I know that's something like that's really small and that doesn't seem like important or it seems like okay what does a septum ring have to do with anything but like it's just how what I'm comfortable with and how I feel comfortable so I took it out and you know what that's okay like who cares it's just a septum ring like and if I don't feel comfortable then I'm gonna take that shit out like and it's okay to do that or to think that or to be like that and you know it's about trying to accept my new self like I've accepted that I have these mental health problems so now I'm just learning how to love myself with them I've struggled with a lot of different things too I mean I think I have ADHD because like I watch I know it's, it's like dumb but like TikToks you know of people who have ADHD and they're like I do this 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 and this and I'm like wait I do this 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 and this too you know what I mean and maybe it'll help you discover like what you have if you have anything like if you don't know or you think you do you know like but it's always good to talk to somebody, especially people like in your life that you know have are open about having mental health problems or um, it's OK to like talk to a psychiatrist or talk to your doctor and they can they can tell you like it's scary. But honestly, once you start feeling better and start accepting yourself, it's kind of like it's kind of beautiful. Like I know it sounds like super like dumb, but like it is like. I think since coming out of the psych ward, it's more so like I have a new appreciation for my family and for my wife and for my life. I miss having my four-legged babies with me and uh, it's really hard, but if you kill yourself, at least this is how I thought of it. I was like, dude, if you kill yourself you're never going to see your wife or your mom or your kids or your friends or anything ever again, like, until they die. And even then, that's not even promised. Like, the afterlife is such a big mystery, you know what I mean? So it's like, dude, think about it. You're never going to see any of the things that you love ever again. Or, like, I tell my friend all the time, like, I, I'll yell at her. Like, I'm like, dude, you came into my life and you are this beautiful ray of sunshine and you make my life a little bit brighter you came into my life you wanted my friendship and you want to take that away because you want to kill yourself like that's not fair to me because I love you so much and I care about you and you impacted my life and now you want to leave like that's not fair you know and sometimes you just kind of have to think of it like that like as much as you don't think you're worthy somebody might think that you are and that's not fair for you to take that away from them because you don't think that you're enough or you don't think that you're good enough for them or whatever reason because you are enough you're more than enough you're somebody's everything you know and if you've ever lost someone and you understand that pain of losing somebody or multiple people or whatever how that pain that you felt that ugly feeling inside that hurt how could you put somebody that you claim you love so much how could you put them in that position how could you force them to feel those things you know at least that's how I see it I mean I could be totally wrong and I could just be talking out of my ass and like everybody could be like oh whatever like but that's just how I see it and how I view it but 
I'll definitely do a story time as from when I was in the mental hospital, but that's a whole other story. I was there for almost a week, so that's a whole other story, but I just kind of wanted to do this video as like my first video introduction, I guess, to like more videos of me speaking about mental health. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching if you got to this point. I mean, I don't even know if I said anything that made sense, but um, if you've made it this far, thank you guys for watching me looking like this, not showered in, like, five years. <laughs> um, you know, just being really vulnerable and letting me open up. And I just want to thank every single one of my subscribers for being subscribed to me because you guys mean everything to me. And I'm just really grateful to have, like, this small platform where I can speak about my feelings or I could post whatever I want, you know, and it's, I'm really grateful that I can do that. Um, and I don't want to take it for granted. Like if I ever do blow up, I want you guys to know, like my DMS and my comments and stuff are always open. I don't want to be one of those people that's like, I have a million followers now. So now I'm going to like not answer any of my messages. Like I'm like, no dude, even if I have like a hundred million, like, followers or something like I will try I will stay up for days commenting back like or messaging back or you know like I don't want to be that person who's just like I'm famous now like you're a peasant you know like no fuck fuck that shit because there are people that I follow that have like hundreds of thousands of followers and stuff like that and I'll message them thinking like oh they're never gonna message me back or something and or I'll reach out um and they reach out to me too and they're like hey like if i if i just tell them like hey i'm, I'm not feeling good mentally like i know you like you don't know me or anything but you speak about mental health so i just wanted to let you know like i'm reaching out i'm making an effort and they'll respond and be like just hold on like you're so strong like you're you have hope like you have something to live for you know and it's like they don't know me but it's like that little bit just to know that just being a human being and living, like, having a life means something. Like, just them responding means something to me because it's like they get hundreds of messages, maybe thousands of messages a day, you know what I mean? And for them to respond to me, like, that means a lot to me. So I never want to be one of those people that doesn't respond to messages. I mean, who knows if I'm ever even going to get a message. But anyway, I'm going off topic now, but... Thank you guys for watching again. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll probably film a video with Lily, who was, if you guys remember, in my last video, she was in the back. So we're going to bring her to the front seat next time. And she's actually starting a YouTube channel, so we're going to film one, a video, I mean, for her channel. So I'm going to edit this video and probably post it today, and then... In the next video, you guys will see Lily, and hopefully she'll have a YouTube channel by then, and you guys get to see her first video. So, anyways, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Again, thank you for watching, and I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys. Thank you.